Power Systems Technology welcomes you to the safety of the mini-sub. This video will take you through major safety features of the mini-sub and explain why the best choice in power distribution equipment is the Power Systems Technology mini-sub. We will begin with the cable entry point and the connections on the primary side of the mini-sub. The mini-sub's cables are terminated using the ANSI 386 system instead of the usual dirt accumulating stress cone design. This termination system, in use for over 30 years, provides a dead front, watertight connection for the life of the unit, keeping the maintenance personnel free from the dangers of exposed bus. This ANSI 386 system also has available a complete selection of operating and grounding accessories which can be added. Even if the high voltage door was open and the barriers removed, there is no live exposed parts and there's no potential for grounding. The next system improvement is the CSA certified SF6 switchgear. This sealed switching device provides a safe arc sealed switching system and no exposed arcing products. For the operator, this video should convince you that safety extends far beyond the standards of an air insulated switch. Take note that the bushings stay intact after the explosion. As you can see in this video, even if you were standing near this unit in a major failure, it would provide protection for the operator. This is due to the heavy steel construction hardware and support ribbing on the tank. Our switch operator offers features not available anywhere else, including our anti-reverse protection device, which is standard on all our switches. Internal ground position and visible isolation in all positions are what you can expect from our product. Also, the cable or transformer can be grounded without the need to expose the operator to unknown situations. The next safety feature is the key interlock. Access to the fuses is key interlocked with the primary switch. This means that no access is allowed unless the switch is in the opened or ground position. Now let's discuss primary protection. The mini sub is protected by a two fuse system in series. Firstly, current limiting fuses inside the transformer tank will detect and clear any internal transformer fault before tank failure can occur. This feature has resulted in the change in the National Electrical Code. The new change states that positioning of oil-filled units can be near a combustible surface. This relaxing of the code does not apply to transformers with the fuse located outside the transformer enclosure. Secondly, the bayonet fuses which are replaceable by accessing a special door that is interlocked with the transformer switch. With this system, there is no way to be in touch with any live components, even by an accident while changing a fuse. Unlike the standard air insulated fuse switch, where you are exposed to many kinds of undesirable conditions. Our transformer can be purchased with FR3 cooling liquid for indoor installations. FR3 is a fire resistant dielectric coolant used where its unique electrical thermal and safety properties are needed to meet the code for a non-fire rated room. FR3 cooling liquid is also non-toxic and readily biodegradable. It can also be easily installed in underground parking lots, rooftops, or anywhere else dry type transformers can be installed. And believe it or not, FR3 has a perfect field record, both in electrical performance and safety for more than 30 years. These videos show the difference in safety between the different transformer cooling liquids. The first step in this test is to heat up the liquid to 130 degrees Celsius, then submerge a 750 degree steel plate into the fluid. As you can see, a dangerous fire occurred in the oil, and there was very little response with the FR3 cooling liquid. In recent years, major resources have been devoted to enhancing safety and reliability in low and high voltage switchgear. But despite the fact that modern switchgear is much safer than previous designs, the risk of arc occurring can never be entirely eliminated. The most usual causes are faulty handling, overheating, 
and incorrect maintenance. An arc rapidly gives rise to a very powerful increase in pressure. At 10 kV and a short circuit current of 40 kA, the pressure in the vicinity of the arc rises to about 15 tons per square meter within 10 milliseconds. The temperature of the arc increases violently to 20,000 degrees and causes of heat lost. Simply expressed, the energy released from the arc is equal to the square of the current times the duration. The elevated temperature causes a cable fire after about 100 milliseconds. After 150 milliseconds, copper burns, and after 200 milliseconds, sheet steel burns. The disconnecting time upon an arcing fault can be as much as 500 milliseconds. Of that time, 400 milliseconds is the relay and communication time and the remainder is the circuit breaker time. The material damage to the switchgear will be very extensive and can lead to long periods of breakdown. Investigations in laboratory environments and experience gained from previous arcing accidents show that at a disconnection time of 35 milliseconds, both personnel and plant have an excellent chance of escaping injury and damage. At 100 milliseconds, both personnel and plant have good chances. However, there is still a risk of material damage and burn injuries to staff. At 500 milliseconds, neither staff nor equipment have much chance of escaping injury or damage. Our arc monitor provides an immediate tripping signal to the circuit breaker in an event of an arcing fault. The relay and communication time is eliminated completely. All that is left is the reaction time of the monitor, 2 milliseconds. The burning duration of the arc would be entirely dependent on the breaker time. In this case, less than 100 milliseconds. There would be no burning up of steel, copper, or cable. The material damage to the switchgear will be greatly restricted, as well as the risk of serious personal injury. If an arcing fault should occur, it is a matter of milliseconds. Our arc monitor makes sure that the milliseconds are on your side, that is, the safe side.